Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we are going to discuss about the calcium deficiency problem during pregnancy. First of all, you have to know the importance of calcium. Calcium is an important nutrient for the body. During pregnancy, you need more calcium for your health and the health and development of the baby growing inside of you. For your baby, your developing baby needs calcium to form bones and teeth. They are building an entire skeleton after all. Calcium is also an important nutrient for your baby's heart, muscles, nerves and hormones. For you, during pregnancy you give your baby all the calcium they need. So when you consume the recommended amount of calcium every day, you are taking care of your baby and yourself. If you don't get enough, you could run into some complications. Regardless of whether or not you take in enough, your body will still give calcium to your body. So, if you are not replacing that you are giving away, you could end up with weakened bones and greater risk of osteoporosis later in life. Complications Complications are possible as a result of both too little and too much calcium. Luckily, they are easily preventable. Too little calcium, you probably won't experience any major pregnancy complication if you don't consume the recommended amount of calcium each day exactly. But there are some side effects. High blood pressure during pregnancy, premature baby, low birth weight, numbness and tingling in the fingers, slow growth of the baby, the baby not getting enough calcium in the bones, heart problems, muscles and leg cramps, a poor appetite, in rare case increased risk of bone fractures. In swear and rare cases too little calcium could lead to death. Too much calcium. It is rare to get too much calcium from the foods that you eat. You are most likely to take in an excessive amount of calcium if you use supplements. It's important to understand which nutrients and how much of each nutrient is in your perinatal vitamin and any other supplements that you take. You may be getting extra without even knowing it. It is always best to talk to your doctor about any vitamins that you are taking or considering so you get what you need without taking too much. If you are 19 or older, you do not want to take more than 2500 mg of calcium each day. And if you are 18 or younger, you don't want to go over 3000 mg daily. Ingestion too much calcium can cause some complications too or side effects. Constipation kidney stones, possibly trouble absorbing other minerals such as iron and zinc, irregular heartbeat, low calcium in the baby's body. Sources Your body doesn't make calcium so you have to get it from food, fortified products and supplements. Food Sources 4 servings of fortified milk or other fortified dairy milks will fulfill your daily calcium requirement by giving up about 1200 mg approximately. A glass of fortified orange juice has the same amount at about 300 mg per serving. Dairy products that are a great source of calcium include milk 1 cup whole 276 mg calcium, cheese 2 slices or 1.5 ounces 307 mg calcium, yogurt 8 ounces plain low fat 415 mg calcium, kefir 1 cup low fat 3 16 mg calcium. Other foods rich in calcium include collard green, kale, broccoli, bok choy, soybeans, baked beans, almonds, and salmon. Common calcium fortified products include English muffin, waffle, calcium fortified orange juice, cereal. Diet tips If you enjoy dairy and can easily consume 4 servings a day, 8 ounces per serving, then you will not be a problem reaching your daily goals. But if you aren't a big fan of straight dairy, there are preparation methods that you may enjoy more than just drinking a cup of milk or eating a cup of yogurt. Have cereal in the morning. Enjoying a bowl of cold cereal or whole cereal or oatmeal made with milk is a great way to start the day. Make it a light. Add a little extra milk into your morning coffee or tea. Top it with cheese. Add a little bit of cheese to your salad, soups and other dishes. Make it creamy. Add some milk or evaporated milk to your recipes and make creamy soups, sauces, 
casseroles, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese and other delicious dishes. Substitute some dairy in your cooking. Use milk instead of water to cook noodles, pasta, rice, oatmeal or other foods. Change your regular order. Have a glass of milk or chocolate milk with lunch or dinner instead of a soda or another beverage. In cold or weather, enjoy a hot chocolate made with milk instead of water. Add it as a snack. Fill the fridge with cut up cheese cubes, string cheese or flavored yogurt so they are ready and easy to grab when you need a little bite to eat. Have a treat. Enjoy a bowl of ice cream or frozen yogurt. A small milkshake, yogurt and fruit smoothie or some pudding for dessert. Lactose intolerance. If you don't tolerate dairy products, well, you can still get the calcium you need through other food non-dairy alternatives and fortified products like lactose-free milk and cheese fortified with calcium, dairy products with reduced calcium, lactose, lactose tablets that you take before having dairy. Supplements, prenatal vitamins along with other vitamins and mineral supplements that your doctor recommends are a great way to fill in any nutrition gap. Types of calcium supplement. Calcium supplements include prenatal vitamins. While they usually contain a little calcium, it's not enough to cover your daily requirement. You will still have to get calcium through your diet. Different brands have different amount of vitamins and minerals, so check the label and talk to your doctor. Calcium citrate. Your doctor may recommend a calcium citrate supplement if you're having trouble getting enough calcium or you are at a risk of high blood pressure in pregnancy. Calcium carbonate is the active ingredient in some antacids such as Tums. Let your doctor know if you use Tums to relieve heartburn and follow your doctor's advice on how to take it. Depending on how many times you take Tums each day and your overall diet, you could be getting too much calcium. Vitamin D is an essential vitamin for many reasons. One of the things that it does is help your body absorb calcium. Vitamin D and calcium work hand in hand to promote strong bonds. You can get it from sun fortified products, prenatal vitamins, and supplements. Warning! Caffeine can act endiuretic and make you have to urinate more. An increase in urination may cause some calcium to leave your body. This loss should be very small. However, if you stay within the recommended guideline of caffeine during pregnancy, our suggestion, the best way to be sure that you are getting all the calcium and other nutrients that you need is to eat well. A balanced diet will keep you healthy during your pregnancy. Provide your baby with what they need to grow and develop give you strength and energy for childbirth and encourage successful milk production once your child is born. You have to take care of your calcium intake when you are breastfeeding too. So, this is all about calcium intake and the deficiency of calcium. If you find this video useful, then like it, share it and also subscribe our channel. Thank you.